Billy, we got 38 home runs and 120 RBIs. Guys, we're couple. still trying to replace Giambi. I told you we can't do it, and we can't do it. Now, what we might be able to do is recreate him. Recreate him in the aggregate. The what? Giambi's on base percentage was 477. Damon's on base, 324. And Almeida's was 291. Add that up, and you get. Woman speak. When I point at you, yeah. 1092. Divided by three. 364. That's what we're looking for. We're three ball players, it. three ball players whose average OBP is 364. Wait a minute, that doesn't look right, doesn't come out right. That's right, Artie. Billy? Yeah, you gotta carry the one. There's one. Billy. That's just down. Yeah. Who's that? That's Pete. Does Pete really need to be here? Yes, he does. Okay, here's who we want. Number one, Jason's little brother, Jeremy. Oh, oh. Billy, that's trouble. Uh, Billy, look, if, if I, yeah, Billy, if I may, uh, he certainly has had his problems off the field, and we know that what he can't do on the field. And, uh, Get a little thicker on the waist, yeah. Well, and his reports about him on the weed and the strip clubs. Well, his on-base percentage is all we're looking at now. And Jeremy gets on base an awful lot for a guy who only costs 285000 Jeez, Billy. Number two, David Justice. Oh, no. Billy is Not a good child. idea, Billy. Old man Jeez, Justice. Billy. Why is that? Steinbrenner's so pissed at his decline that he's willing to eat a big chunk of his contract just to get rid of him. Anybody exactly. Can. Ten years ago, David Justice, big name. Been a lot of big games. He's going to really help our season tickets early in the year, but we get in the dog days in July and August, he's well, lucky if he's going to hit his weight. Billy, his, his legs yeah. are gone. Billy. And, uh, he's a defensive liability, and I question whether the bat speed's still there. His legs are gone. Great. We'll be lucky to get 60 games out of him. Why do you like him? Because he gets on base. What, what is this? What are we doing? Okay, number three. Scott Hatterberg. Who? Hatterberg. Exactly. Oh, he Sounds like an Oakland A already. Okay. Yes, he's had a little problem with his elbow. Oh, problem. He can't throw. He's got he's a career 260 hitter. The best part of his career is over. I say it's just getting started. I know Boston wants to cut him, and no one wants to pick him up. That's good for us. He's cheap. Let me get this. Let me get this straight. You're going to get a guy that's been released by half the organizations in professional baseball because he's got non-repairable nerve damage in his elbow, and he can't throw. He can't throw and he can't field, but what can he do? Oh, boy. Guys, check the reports or I'm going to point at people. He gets on, get on base. base. He can get on base. So he walks a lot. He gets on base a lot. Rocco, do I care if it's a walk or a hit? Pete? You do not. I do not. You're unhappy, Grady. Why? <laughs> May I speak candidly? Sure, go ahead. Major League Baseball and its fans, they're going to be more than happy to throw you and Google Boy under the bus if you keep doing what you're doing here. You don't put a team together with a computer, Billy. No? No. Baseball isn't just numbers. It's not science. If it was, then anybody could do what we're doing, but they can't because they don't know what we know. They don't have our experience and they don't have our intuition. Okay. Billy, you got a kid in there that's got a degree in economics from Yale. You got a scout here with 29 years of baseball experience. You're, You're listening to the wrong one. Now, there are intangibles that only baseball people understand. You're discounting what scouts have done for 150 years, even yourself. Adapt or die. <laughs>